Derby County had a huge opportunity to build a seven point gap and get the psychological edge over Bolton Wanderers, but they went to Northampton Town and completely bottled it. Another performance in a big game where it just is not enough. We saw it at Reading, we saw it at Peterborough. Last week, at this point, could be all for nothing. Beating Bolton in that game could be all for nothing because at the end of the day, we might have won that game, but they're going to have a game in hand now. Yes, it's not until later on in the season, but they could. we could lose another game. Like If we play like that, we could quite easily lose another game. Absolutely dreadful performance. I don't know what Conor Horahan does to get in the side now. Absolutely nothing against him, but he was poor against Bolton Wanderers. He was poor again today. And for me, it, it's a bit of a joke. Yes, we've lost Dwight Gale. Yes, We've uh, lost Tom Barkazen, but it's just not good enough. It is not good enough. Martin Waggon wasn't good enough. Mendes Lang wasn't good enough. We just didn't offer anything. And for me, today, it comes down to the back three. If you haven't already and you're enjoying this Derby and League One content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or in this top corner up here, and I'll catch you in the next part of the video. We just weren't in the game we we never had any controlled possession we always just sort of wing and cross wing and cross and like it it just wasn't working we had a few opportunities which realistically we should have scored but it just was not enough today and we just weren't good enough and if we play like that again and again and again then we're not going to get promoted this season our promotion chances are going to hang in the balance if we have another performance like that our next game is, what, next Friday, maybe? I think it is. I think it's Friday, next Saturday, whatever it is. And we have to turn up. Because at this point, we can't we can't be dropping multiple games now. There's, we've got six games left to go. We've got four points. Can Bolton score five more points than us with an extra game? Absolutely. And it, it's awful. It's awful. It now means Pompey are essentially promoted now for me. Uh, because... Even if we do beat them when we play them, they're still going to have, I think it's a two-point gap. Um, so it just, it for me, it just, just ain't right. Kane Wilson had their wing back on toast for a majority of the game. Their first goal, like well, their only goal, came from what I can only say is one of the most controversial bits of play I've seen in a while. When Kane Wilson knocks the ball past his man, just blocked off, no foul, Nothing, and then they go up the other end and score. Now, Derby should have done better. Sonny Bradley, defensively, should have done better, but he didn't. We didn't deal with it. The ref bottled the big moment, in my opinion. And you look at... Well, Sonny Bradley got sent off right at the end of the game. Absolutely awful performance. Awful, awful performance. Like, he didn't even have a good game. And then Sonny Bradley, awful for me. Just, like... For me, we've had some really good chances. Sonny Bradley's gone and got himself sent off. Like, we've lost pace up front. We're bringing in Liam Thompson. Why not give Corey Blackett-Taylor a go? Like, he came on, and don't get me wrong, I don't think he did anything magnificent, but he wasn't bad. Like, he, he was trying, and that's all we can ask for. I think we need to make a fair few changes heading into the next game. I think uh, Callum Alder will probably start. I think Blackett-Taylor should come into the team. Hopefully, we've got Barkays and back, because... We just looked absolutely piss poor today. Absolutely poor. I'll be honest, I mentioned before the game at Sam Hoskins uh, how he's their top goal scorer, a player we need to shut down, and he showed just what he was capable of with his finish. Like All, all credit to Northampton Town. They completely just they got their goal and shut us down. And for me, up until they scored, like they didn't even look like they wanted to play. They looked on the beach, and that's the thing that's frustrated me the most because we gave them like the will to play by giving them that goal. Uh, I, I just don't think we were very good today and it, it wasn't great at all. I'd, I've not even listened to Paul Warren's post-match media yet. I, he's not even done it yet when I'm recording this. It's only 10 past five. I am livid with that performance. It is a joke. How can you go from winning 1-0 against Bolton in one of the biggest games of the season to then drop in a game where you can, you can essentially... Could we realistically, in my opinion, I mentioned it in my other video, confirm promotion here, a seven point gap, we'd need to drop eight points in six games. Like, 
it's just a joke. It is a joke. I don't get... I don't know what Paul Warren said to him before this game. I wasn't a fan of the team selection to start off with. Like, I don't know what Horahan does to get in a team. The substitutions just didn't make sense. Instead of taking a defender off, we didn't. Like, we put loads of attackers on, but we just took other attackers off. And, like, for me, just not good enough at all in the slightest. Piss poor performance. The league table will speak for itself in six games' time, but we've now given those teams around us a bit of a mentality boost. They'll be looking at this result, seeing that Dar old Derby have lost, and they'll be going, oh, right, we're back in it. And if we'd have won today, that puts Bolton in a situation where they're like, oh, fuck, they've won again. And that's what... It, it was four wins on the trot. We're now not four wins on the trot. We're back to a loss. So it's, what, two losses in far... No, four losses... Three losses in six? Three losses in six, three losses in seven, something like that. And we've got to, we, we've got to go and win our next game. I think it's Blackpool... But don't quote me on that. I'll actually just check now. Yeah, our next two games, we've got Blackpool at home and then Pompey away. Now, obviously, we could go and win on Saturday. Well, it's not Saturday, is it? It's Friday. We could go and beat Blackpool, Bolton lose, Peterborough lose. And then we're sort of, it makes up for this. But do I think Bolton are going to go and lose? Probably not. Do I think Peterborough are going to go and lose? Probably not. Barnsley? Probably not. So it's a case of, we've had this opportunity to build a bigger gap to give us a buffer and we've messed it up again and I'm not a fan I'm not it's it's dangerous dangerous we will be back for the next game obviously uh, hopefully at Pride Park we're going to be able to do something we're going to be able to get a result hopefully fingers crossed we're going to for me we've got to go back to the back four because at the end of the day I completely understand the Ambies out for the rest of the season and we don't really have a proper right back. But for me, put Kane Wilson there. Put Joe Ward on the right wing. Put Mendes Lang on the left. Right. Or or put Mendes Lang on the right. Put Corey Beckett Taylor on the left. And let's go for a fucking win. Like, seriously, I don't know what we're playing at. It just isn't good enough. And, like, I, like, I don't think Washington or Waghorn, to be completely honest, are good enough. Um, yes, they've been injured, but, like... You look at the instant impact Gale had when he came into the side and he hadn't played for God knows how long, hadn't scored in nearly a year before when he came to us. And it's like he came in and made an instant impact, his positioning, his his runs. And it was it just gave extra space to the likes of Barkazen and, and uh, Mendes Lang, Joe Ward. And like we just looked a completely different side. And the three worked when you have that movement. But without the movement, you lose it and you lose all the momentum and... That's what we saw today, in my opinion. And for me, it just wasn't good enough. Set pieces weren't good enough. We didn't really put much pressure on their goalkeeper until late on in the game. Yes, Waggon had a chance early on, which he should have absolutely buried. Like he'll be ruining that opportunity because at the end of the day, even if we got a, even if we got a point, even if we got a point, it'd have been five point gap. So, like, if it's disappointing, very disappointing. Um, because we had a massive, massive opportunity today. Hopefully, we can come back with another win on Friday at 3 o'clock when we face Blackpool at Pride Park Stadium. If you are sticking around for that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll give you a preview heading into the next game. And then we'll obviously do another match day vlog for the home game. And then we'll get into Portsmouth. It's, it's going to be a busy, busy final six games. And hopefully we can get ourselves over the line. But with another performance like today, I just don't think we're going to be able to do that. So, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.